Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am back today with another unboxing video. So I have here a box that I haven't looked at yet. It is from the company that I bought the tea towels from. So I have a whole bunch more tea towels here. Uh, it's sort of hard to say for me. I'm not that bright with words. But I have here some tea towels that are um, really exciting. So I did have a review video, not a review video, an unboxing video on these towels before, and these are all new designs. So I'm pretty much working way, my way through their inventory of designs. Okay, well, that's not good. Um, so I'm really excited to open these up. I spent a little over $200 for all these towels because they had a free shipping uh, offer. If you spend over $200, you get free shipping. I think, and I can't tell you, I don't know when that is good to get, can't even speak. I don't know when that is good till, but uh, yeah. Oh, here's my invoice. $202.50. Most of these, actually all of, yes, all of these were $3.75 and they make you buy six at a time. So it's, uh, they're about $22.50 per like set and you have to buy at least a hundred dollars worth to even order them and To get for shipping they were doing that separate little thing. So yeah, you have to be a resale Well, I don't know what their how strict they are with that But basically you just need to make sure you're ordering uh, at least a hundred dollars worth of stuff from them Ooh, ah, no. um, Really excited. So here's the first set that I got this is this is the set right here. Now these are um, cotton, <coughs> I had a tickle all day. Uh, these are cotton, 100% cotton flower sack towels. And so, oh, I remember what I did. I took them out of the plastic last time so that you could actually see them. So there are six per bag and they come with these fancy little hooks so we can be all cool and put them on the wall uh, for display. There we go, that's much nicer looking, if you can see that. So I have a set of six individual towels of that design. By the way, if you want to purchase them, I will sell them, $9.95 per towel, it includes shipping. So these are gonna be going in my antique booth for $7 a piece, and um, yeah. So this set here is really pretty. It actually has strawberries on it. Did I hear a car? I don't know. And so they're uh, strawberries. And I wish they would have another, like just more plainer design with strawberries, but uh, this is all they had for strawberries. But I'm okay with that. So there's this, oh, that's hard to see. There's this, there we go, white and yellow lines. That's more accurate to color. It's a little bit stronger. So it's this white and the yellow, and then there's the strawberries. Um, on screen, I actually like it a little bit more than in person even. I guess I wish it was just maybe just strawberries on white. No, I like what they did. I think they did good. Okay, so in, anyways, I've got six of that design, really pretty. And like I said in the first video, they all come with this pre-printed tag on here. So uh, yeah, it gives you the dimensions and all of that. So that's awesome. I also bought some more rooster towels because those seem to be a hit. And I already have towels in general in my booth, but I think all of these are completely new. Yeah, these are all new. So I no repeats from the first video. Here's just another style of rooster they have. This one is more in the 70s era to me. Looks like that. So those are fun, little, little chickens. And then this one's really cute. I, I went on a limb for this one because I just thought the subject was really cute. Yeah, adorable. Look at that turtle. Oh my gosh. That one is super cute. So there's a fun little turtle on there. This one I was like, well, I mean, turtles aren't really like a popular design theme, but I think that this is so cute that it's gonna be good. So I bought those. 
And then here's another rooster. This one's a, like a more atomic rooster. You know what, that's weird. From the picture when I bought this, I thought the coloring was different. Maybe I'll look back on the picture of this one. Some of these colors look a little different in person. This one particularly, I thought that the background was blue for some reason, not green. But there's that one. Isn't that weird? I thought this was a tur like going to be like a turquoise background instead of a dark green. I need to double check that one. I think it's probably fine though. So that's like a retro looking one, like 60s kind of. There are, I ordered, you know, I ordered one Christmas design in here. So that's really exciting. I'll save that one for right up to the end. I've only got three more styles. Oh, by the way, did I say, these are gonna go in my 1950s theme booth. Uh, I talked about all this in the first video, but I, I don't wanna forget, just in case you didn't watch that video uh, from a few weeks ago, or almost a month ago. Oh, this is cute. So these are strawberries. Got to get strawberries. That's a popular theme. So I made sure to buy those. I really like those a lot. These, um, oh, how weird. They have different labels on this one. So these are more mid-century. They're atomic starbursts. So it looks like they're going in the way of like the mid-century stuff a little bit, rather than strictly the 50s, because I know they're, that's like their main um, thing they run on with their business is like the 50s. That is beautiful. Yeah, this one I, I was unsure about online. I didn't know for sure. But now that I got them, I think that that was a good purchase. So yeah, like they said, they kind of go into that atomic area um, or era, not area, era. And so um, it's just a little bit outside of the 50s kitchen thing, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, the uh, Christmas one. Now this one was the most expensive because you have to order them in sets of two. So I have 12 towels in this one bag, but you buy them in sets of two. So I will have to sell them in sets of two. Meaning, um, if that wasn't apparent enough, uh, $45 for this one bag. Oh, by the way, so profit margins on these towels, I'm pretty much just doubling my money. Um, I, in my first video I did, I heard a lot of people say that that really wasn't enough, that I should be um, quadrupling. I cannot quadruple towels around here. We, that, we do not have the market for it. Maybe California, um, and that's just what you kind of got. You got to give up some things and you know, some, that's the way it works. You can't always get what you want. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, about $7 a towel is where it's at. Now on these double ones, obviously I'm going to be charging about double. <laughs> so 14 or so. Look at those. Those are the Christmas ones. It's, let's see if it'll focus. So they had a few different retro Christmas designs. And this one here is the most like atomic and it kind of is uh, modeled after the shiny bright ornament. So I like that one. They did have a few others. They had one that looked like a regular old Christmas tree. Wasn't too exciting. Um, they had a couple that looked like Christmas scenes with like snow, like snow hill, snowy, hilly snow, snowy hills and like a log cabin and all that. But this one I think was the most in line with what I think people are gonna want because it's cute. Um, but that said, you can go on to, in the website, because I got that question a lot, is Red and White Kitchen. Red and White Kitchen. Uh, do they have their website? Yes, redandwhitekitchen.com. It's all spelled out, all one word, just like that. And you can go on there and see all of the different styles they have. They've got a good number. And at this point, I'm probably like 85% through their inventory with what I've bought. Um, so I don't really think there's much. They have got some other things like little cowboy, cowgirl. Uh, they've got like a funny looking pickle on there. Some kind of stranger ones that I don't want to have to deal with. Like I don't think my market segment in uh, rural Illinois uh, is going to really support those uh, sp specific style specific styles <laughs> but um, with these I think will be good enough and I think I could sell them but like I said uh, 375 is what they charge 
for their new styles. They do have an area on there where you can buy them uh, and get their $2 for the older styles, but those are increasingly harder to find good ones in that area. $3.75 per towel is a little bit on the steep side, if I do say so myself, uh, as, a, like as, a resale, as a resale item. Uh, I think $2 a piece, what they do for their clearance ones, should really be how much one of these towels should, which should be sold for. So, you know, the towel, $2. I think $2 should be what they're sold for. And then, I, cause I can't see this being sold retail for more than like 12 bucks. Like, I, I understand that people want me to quadruple the 375 in order to make sure I'm making a good return, but what is that anyway? I'm good, not good with math. Where'd my phone go? Phone? Hey Google, what's three dollars and seventy-five cents times four? The answer is fifteen United States dollars. Fifteen United States dollars. <laughs> um, yeah, I think fifteen is stretching it. Uh, I'm trying my best to get. I think I have. Is it's either seven dollars flat or it's six ninety-nine? I think it's seven dollars flat in the booth. But um, that's just my area. So I mean, you, you can't really. Where are they out of? Where are these people out of? New York. So there you go. That's that's why they're able to charge 375 because everything's expensive in New York, especially well, you got New York and you got the eastern uh, the the western sea what the hell. Anyways, um I just have fun buying these things. I think they're a great addition to my 1950s theme booth and they're a real simple easy way to add a little bit of uh, textiles to my booth that are somewhat hard to find. You know, it's hard to find a good supply of vintage textiles coming through um, and charge a decent price. So at like $7 a piece, it's good because I think a lot of people are happy to get something like this that they don't feel bad about using. I know for me, I get vintage uh, things like this fabric and I'm almost afraid to use them on a daily basis. I don't want to mess them up or, you know, cause they're old and they're vintage and maybe they're on the verge of being an antique. And you know, it's like, all these things we have to think about as conscientious people. Mm. So anyways, I will wrap up this video here. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions on this company. I don't have any referral link or anything. Wish I did, but I don't. I'm just sharing the information. And if you wanna buy one, drop me a link below, or not a link, a comment below. I will get an email address from you. We can take care of it via PayPal. Um, but like I said, that's actually all I said. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.